but I, by the way, I want to mention it. This new movie you have, yeah, Emily the Criminal. I watched it. Now listen, when they t- when your publicist was like, "Here's the link. You want to watch the movie?" I'm like, "Oh fuck, I don't have time to watch oh, a fucking movie right yeah. now." What the fuck? And I just started it. I played it while I was looking at some emails. I'm being honest with you. Please. And I was sucked the fuck in. <laughs> I was sucked in. It's so intense. And so Aubrey intense. Plaza is brilliant and you're brilliant in it. And it's such a, just a, this crazy relationship that happens between the two of you. And the movie is just like, you feel for, I like movies when you feel for the lead character who's doing the wrong thing, but you understand why she's doing it. And it's just this weird journey that I was honestly at times like in the room, I won't say give anything away with the clock ticking at yeah. the beginning. I'm just like, Oh my God. And those characters, you're just like, it's kind of, it's a heist movie. It's, it's, it's much more than that, but I was really impressed with this and people could watch Emily, the criminal mm-hmm. where everywhere or is it everywhere? It's in theaters everywhere. Yeah. Aubrey and I uh, were just together. We did our two premieres in LA and New York. We were both kind of, flying from other jobs in and we got seen on the big screen because we debuted at Sundance, but Sundance went virtual uh, last year and really cool. We were the highest rated film out of Sundance. You know, it was this little movie that, you know, I mean, we shot in 21 days that we just didn't, not that we didn't expect anything. Aubrey produced it. It was kind of this thing that I was doing this other movie in Atlanta and her and I zoomed and it was like, yeah, like I, when, when I see, Cause I produced some stuff. Like when I see someone putting it all out there and I read the script, it's a 90 minute movie, you know, it's a fast read yeah. on the script. And I like movies that I call like replacement theory, like where I can watch it and go, what would I do if I was that person? What would I do if I was in that situation? Those are my favorite movies. It's like the game with Michael Douglas. Like, oh what yeah. Would I do? Yeah. Yeah. You know, what would happen here? And it's when I watch films and I read films like that, I'm like, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to go on that ride. It's like a six flags ride. And her and I just, you know, when it debuted at Sundance, it had a ton of buzz, you know, like I said, highest rated one, we were just waiting for it to come out. Roadside's amazing. Um, we're in like, I think we're in like 500 theaters now across the country, which is really cool. Um, it did really well. It's the highest critical thing I've ever been a part of. Um, in all ways, she's extraordinary in it. Yeah. And, extraordinary. Um, both you guys it's yeah and you just want people you know john Patton ford first time director um great job yeah just amazing so it's been a really cool like run the last few years and i feel like this was the one that i was i'm really excited about this one because it's again a wildly different character than i've been playing yeah you guys have to see it emily the criminal i mean it really is good trust me i was if you could write into me, you could write on the Patreon yeah. and you could tell me what an asshole I am, but you're, yeah. I'm not wrong on this one. This was a movie that I was just emailing while I'm listening and watching. And then I just got sucked in. I'm telling you, and there was no turning back. It was just great performances, intensity, uh, just a really good story. And you care about the characters, which is, which is hard to do. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's that anti-hero thing we've been doing since like, you know, uh, uh, Vic Mackey and the shield and, you know, obviously a, a bunch of things where you start to like the villain. I think we've probably been doing it a lot longer than that. It's just been, you know, kind of more, uh, uh, amplified with television. Yeah. Right. You know, speaking of, we were just talking about this the other day, my buddy and I, it's like, and you, you know, you obviously taking on one of the most legendary characters in history in Lex Luthor, but I talk about Gene Hackman and when he played Lex Luthor, it's like, I liked him way more than Superman when I was a kid. I knew I did. I don't don't know why I just did. I liked him better. (laughs) He was better to watch. Yeah. Right. That's not supposed to happen. But then if you look at the Godfather and stuff like that, we identify more where we go, oh, because they're, you know, they're, uh, I'm probably going to say the word wrong, but they're, they're fallible. Yeah. They're where with with superheroes or good characters, I don't mean in the literal sense of the cape, when you're the good character, the, the straight, you know, lace, you can't have anything wrong with you where the, the one who's a little, uh, ambiguous has more things going on. There's, and that's life. We're all you know, the yin and the yang of life. So, so I think that with Emily, that's the service of what John created where you go, I know these people are doing something wrong, but 
I got to tell you, I kind of like them. I know. It's just so weird. When that happens, it's, it's a little magic. 